Uh, went to public school, just like you're going to now. Uh, <clears throat> went to State University at Buffalo uh, after you know, growing up on Staten Island, going to Susan Wagner High School on, on the island. Uh, and I started working in an advertising firm after college, which was, I'm not going to lie, pretty awful. Mm -hmm. uh, boring, awful, terrible. I'll, I'm happy to talk you out of that career path if you want. Thank you. Um, <laughs> then I went to New York One at the assignment desk. Uh, quickly, an assignment desk is where decisions are made, what stories to cover, who to send. It's, <coughs> a lot of people think that news is just Chuck Scarborough and Sue Simmons. It's not. It, there are assignment editors, there are news assistants, there are producers in a control room, there are producers from the technical aspect, there are creative services producers, there are writers, there are camera people, there are technical directors, there are dozens of jobs to be had in news. So if, if anything you hear today inspires you and you want to know more about it, just you know, ask and let me know. We can, we can, I can give you a, a description about all the different jobs that are available to you in television news. Uh, so I started at the assignment desk, getting into work at about midnight and leaving at about 8 in the morning on the overnight assignment desk. And, you know, it's, somebody's always at, always at New York One. Somebody's always staffed there in case, you know, something happens overseas that's a big deal, uh, in case something happens in New York at 2 in the morning, and it's a really big deal. So I started on the overnight assignment desk for about 8 months to a year, then got promoted to the morning assignment desk, which I did for about a year. Then I went out to Staten Island to be the reporter on Staten Island for about three years. Then got moved to the mornings where I was a reporter with Pat Kiernan as the anchor. I was his reporter for about two years until September 11th where I was downtown. I was the first reporter there, not by any sort of skill, but by luck. We happened to have bad luck. We were downtown. It was primary day in New York, if you all remember, and we were downtown. We just happened to randomly pick a polling location downtown. So I was in at 5 in the morning, live shots at 6, 7, 8, and then 8.42, everything changes. So we went out, got into the van, and drove about you know, 10 blocks, and, and we were on the scene. Um, stayed for the next three months. Didn't, didn't leave until we started a show called New York Tonight, which is the 8 o'clock show on New York One. So I was the founding host of that show as a pure 9-11 show. We talked about nothing but September 11th for two years. So ask me anything. Uh, <laughs> so we did that for about two years, and that's kind of when I had this transition personally uh, between, you know, reporting news and, and, and telling stories. And a lot of times when you're just churning out news stories, you don't have the opportunity to do anything but churn out the news story. Um, so I was looking for something a little bit more in-depth, and then had the fight with the, my producer, which started the call. 